Our good friends in town are having a holiday party and I'm gonna take a delicious Mediterranean artichoke dip. It's sort of a play on traditional artichoke dip. I'm gonna take it warm and just put it right on their buffet table. I've been chopping up some canned artichokes. I left some bigger chunks and then cut up most of them into smaller pieces and that will be the base of the dip. I've got a whole bunch of other things to add. Some green olives and some Kalamata olives. I've got a couple cloves of garlic that I minced. And this is a super easy ingredient, jarred pimentos. I drained off most of the liquid and I'll just add them all in there. I've also got a bunch of minced parsley. And now for the creamy, cheesy ingredients, which I think are the best part. I'm gonna add a good cup of mayonnaise just squirt it right out. I'll add about a quarter cup of sour cream. Now for the cheesy. About half a cup of Parmesan, some Monterey Jack cheese, because it melts nice and creamy. And this is one of the plays on regular artichoke dip. Some feta. Just add some chunks and it'll break up as I stir everything together. Salt and pepper come next. And another ingredient that isn't very standard with artichoke dip, hummus. I'll add about half a cup. Since this is Mediterranean artichoke dip, I thought it would be a really cool thing to add with all the other ingredients. Now I'll stir all this together. I'm going to put it into a baking dish. Oh, it smells delicious. This is one of those dips that really has stood the test of time. It's one of those things that disappears when it's on a table at a party. Before it goes into the oven, just a little more cheese on top, some Parmesan, and the rest of the Monterey Jack. Okay, I'm gonna get this into the oven. It's gonna bake at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes till it's hot and bubbly. And while it does, I wanna show you something else. Mini bagel chips. So delicious, perfect thing to go with the dip. Let me walk you through how to make them. I added two teaspoons of fennel seeds to a mini processor with a teaspoon of dried oregano, one and a half teaspoons of dried mint, half a teaspoon of salt, fourth a teaspoon of pepper, and pulsed until they were finely ground. Then poured them into a bowl, added half a cup of olive oil, and a fourth a cup of melted butter. Stirred it all together, then brushed it on 10 mini bagels I'd cut into four horizontal slices, and then baked them at 350 for eight minutes. I'm gonna let them sit on this rack and crisp up a bit. It's gonna take about 20 minutes while the dip finishes baking. Oh, look at that. Cheesy and bubbly and absolutely perfect. I've got the mini bagel chips in a cute little basket. And I'm gonna cover the dip so it'll stay warm. And then I'll go ahead and head to town. I think this is gonna be a real Christmas time hit. <laughs> <laughs>